Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And today I am opening up Scarlet and Violet 151 Elite Trainer Box exclusive from the Pokemon Center. Uh, super excited for this set. I did my set review uh, yesterday for you guys. Yesterday for me too, but pre-recording and all that stuff. Time's a little wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey, if you know what I mean. Uh <clears throat> so... There we go. We got the plastic off. We're going to open up this ETB and see what we have inside. I know we've got packs. I know we've got sleeves. I know we got other stuff. I also got some other products here, but I'm going to open those in uh, on, probably on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday for you guys. So first off, we've got the player's guide here, which of course has the amazing art from this set shown all throughout. You can also use this as... Um, you know, a little collection thing. Hmm. Interesting. Parallel set and standard set? I wonder what that means. Is that, is that like reverse hollow? Maybe that's just reverse hollow. I don't know. But let's, let's just go ahead. Here's the book. It's not as glossy as I remember these books. Maybe they're changing the material. But this is just paper. That's a little weird to me. Um... Yeah, strange. Let's go ahead and get this open, though. There we go. Love the Snorlax on here, honestly. I think Snorlax is pretty cool. So, just some cardboard we can toss. Here are our packs. Beautiful. Um, here is a completely bent Pokemon Center exclusive Snorlax. If this was the regular Snorlax, I wouldn't care so much. But this is the one with the stamp, the Pokemon Center stamp right there. Um, that is just terrible. What happened to that Snorlax? I'm... Wow, am I frustrated by that. Um, okay. Just ruin everything right in the beginning. <laughs> uh, I love the sleeves, even though I'm... I've got to admit, I've been using nothing but Dragon Shield recently, and I cannot go back to these. I used to use these all the time, because I didn't care about my sleeves. It's not like I was ever going to big tournaments, but ever since I got Dragon Sleeves, or Dragon Shield Sleeves, those things are amazing. Now I understand why everyone freaks out about those. Yes, they are that good. Um, here's a slight, less bent, but still a little dinged regular Snorlax. No Pokemon Center stamp there. That's right. With the Pokemon Center exclusive, you do get two cards. I am going to see if I can email them and maybe get this card replaced um, because that's really bad. Holy cow. Um, I've got a block of energy here that I'm going to donate to my local store. Dividers. We're used to those dividers. We've got the standard port Poison and burn tokens. Nothing special right now. Let's see. The dice. White with silver lettering. That's got to be hard to read. Um, I mean, it's not too bad, honestly. But, you know. I don't know. That, that It might be weird, depending on lighting and everything. That might cause some glares. But, yeah. And that's about it. I, we do get a code card, but this is for me, not you guys. Uh... Maybe I'll have codes later on, you know? I do gotta get, like, a base collection. I do have some other codes somewhere. At least I thought I did. I thought I had a ton of Silver Tempest codes sitting over here, but I don't see them. But do you guys really want Silver Tempest? Probably not. Um, anyways, that's what the box comes with. Some nice stuff, some okay stuff, some, uh, you know bent cards apparently man that is so disappointing these pokemon center exclusive uh cards go for like tw 20 bucks sometimes like the charmander one from obsidian flames is like a 25 dollar card and so that basically pays for almost half of the etb itself you know so that's just disappointing on that end but you know it's it is what it is i can't dwell on it right what I need to do is get my mind off of this bent card and that slightly bent card and just open some packs. What do you say? Uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11. 11 packs. Whew. 11 special packs for a $60 product? I don't know. That seems... Maybe, maybe that's not as good of a deal as I'm thinking, but it seems like such a good deal. Especially, like, I think you get two less packs for the standard ETB, not the Pokemon Center exclusive one. Uh... And that's ten dollars less, so maybe that's the better deal. I don't know. You do get a bunch of awesome stuff as well. So let's just get this open and let's take a look at all these cards, right? So let's start this off right with an Ekans. Next up, Cubone. I'm excited about this Cubone. Volpix, Magmamite, uh, Arcanine. Tentacruel. Is it better if I hold it down here? It looks better to me. Snorlax. Volpex again. Antique Helix Fossil. Praise Helix. And Mewtwo. All right. All right. Nothing too great, but nothing too bad. Some, you know, just generic cards. Like the Mewtwo might have something special going on with it you know uh, might be an interesting uh attacker and you know definitely not something you want to like count on but definitely something that could be interesting and uh you know push your opponent into a uh unique situation right so let's go ahead take a look at this zubat goldeen ghastly nidoran female Saitha, Charmeleon, Parasect, Magikarp, Wartortle, oh, Full Art Zapdos EX. While I didn't think Zapdos was the best of the three legendary birds, mostly because it is an EX giving up two prizes, and it has very similar uh, attack ability as the other two legendary birds, so... That's a little weird, but a full art still. That's that is very nice. Very nice. The blue behind it, it just makes it pop so well. Love it. All right, pack number 3. Let's do this. Going to open this up. See what's inside. Throw away the trash. And there's a code card. All right, here we go. First up, we've got Paris. Voltorb. Krabby. Sand True. Cloyster. Victory Bell. Big Air Balloon. Machop. Dratini. And Nidoking. Ooh, and a Galaxy Hollow, I believe it's called. Lightning energy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Goes with the Zapdos, right? <laughs> all right. Let's keep going. Pack number what? Four? So we got Growlithe here. Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Dugtrio, Haunter, Hitmonlee, Dodrio, pretty fun draw card, Weezing, and Vileplume. That Vileplume could be pretty cool. Just saying. If we ever get Scoop Up Net again, or something similar... We could see some pretty good energy acceleration coming from this vile plume. All right, let's keep this party going. Let's keep these packs rolling. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Nidoran Mail. Abra. Diglett. Drowsy. Hitmonchan. Sea King. Butterfree. Bye bye flight. What? What an attack name. Machop. Gloom to go with that vowel plume. And Raichu. Alright. 
Come on, the hits have got to keep going. Come on. Give me something, right? You bent my Snorlax. Give me something. I mean, I got the Zapdos, so, like, you know, I'm sure someone cares about that. But, you know. That, that person clearly ain't me. We got a Ghastly. We got Paris. Another Voltorb. Another Krabby. Another Scyther. Another Charmeleon. And another Parasect. Muck. I think that's new for us. Mankey. Ditto. Awesome. And, ooh, a Fire Energy. Very nice. I think that ditto is going to be pretty amazing. I, I can already see myself playing like four ofs just because it can help me get the Pokemon I actually want out, right? I don't know. I might have to reread re the text, make sure it does what I'm thinking it does. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. It's going to be like a very popular, you know, if you got the space, throw some in to make sure you can start the Pokemon you actually want. So we got Bulbasaur, Slowpoke, Growlithe, Geodude, Lapras, Cycling Road, Scyther again, Tentacool, Golbat, and a full art Charizard EX. Do we think this Charizard is going to be anywhere near as valuable as the previous Charizard EX. Maybe. I don't know. I can't, you know, tell the future. Man, we are already almost done with this opening. Am I going too fast? I might be going fast. After this, I'm going to bed, so I'm very much like, okay, let's get this over with, right? Um, so we're going to start... Well, I'm going to take the code card away first. Alright, we're going to start off with Sandshrew. Seal, Doduo, Tentacool, Cloyster, Giovanni's Charisma, Rhydon, Grabber, oh, oh, yes, oh, beautiful, just the, um, the awesome secret rare Erica Invitation. Oh, that is such a gorgeous card. That is such a gorgeous card. And it's a grass trainer. So, of course, I gotta love it, you know? Um, man, that is so good. What else do we get? Alakazam EX, a double hitter. Whew, I love it. Alakazam. Alakazam is definitely one of those decks that people are going to be working on for a while. Someone's going to come up with a list that actually works. You know, the idea to me would be you've got Alakazam on the bench and mimic you on, or yeah, in the active blocking attacks from Pokemon V and EX. And you're just using Alakazam EX's dimensional hand doing 120 from the bench. And then that Erica's Invitation, which is just like a, a fancier echoing horn, horn, which doesn't mean it's that good of a card, but it's a gorgeous card. Holy cow. Isn't that a beautiful card? Like, I'm going to be thinking about that card for a while now. All right, let's see. We got Jigglypuff, Staryu, Charmander, Spiro. Charmeleon, Parasect, Giovanni's Charisma, Sandshrew, Drowsy, and Omastar. 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 All right. Looky here. Look at all that. All that. All right, we've only got one more pack after this pack that we are opening right now. I'm gonna toss that code card there. Finally, a Raditata. I'm a big fan of the Raditata Eradicate in this. Finally, we got Raditata, Squirtle, a Venonat, Lickitung, Rigid Band, 
Nidorino, Executor, Persian. Yes, lets you get grab a Giovanni's Charisma card. Pretty awesome. There's a Machoke and a Chansey. Chansey giving yourself the opportunity to possibly get extra prizes just on a coin flip. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Last pack. Can we hit something else? Or is our ETB clearly out of hits? We'll have to find out. Move the code card there. Let's get this going. We got Rhyhorn. A magic carp. Oddish. Mankey. Cloister. Grabber. Kingler. Horsey. Growlithe. And the final card of this ETB is Kabootops. Kabootops. Oh no. Here's the final card. A Galaxy Foil Grass Energy. Heck yes. Awesome. To go with our Grass Gym Trainer here. Gym Leader. Erica. Beautiful. I do know Kabootops is pretty interesting. Some people in the Discord are talking about it, seeing what uh, nonsense they can pull out. Surprised we didn't get a Porygon, which could go with that Kabootops, but I don't think we also got a Kabuto or the um, Dome Fossil. So we, we can't really play that Kabootops, sadly. But here are the pulls. We got three special energies. We got a Full Art Zapdos, Full Art Charizard, a regular Alakazam EX, and then this special art, Erica's Invitation, which again, this is the card out of the box that we just pulled. So beautiful. It's a little blurry on the screen, I think, but... It's also got that nice morning glow sunlight coming through the window, so it makes everything look a little fuzzy, but in a nice way. A nice way where I don't think the camera is actually picking that up quite as well as my eyes. So, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous card. Whew. I'm going to be sleeving these up while I do the outro. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the loud noise, but... I gotta get through the plastic. Um, yes, these sleeves I do think work pretty well as, um, you know, just protectors in general. Not really for play, but when you pull some nice cards like this, yes. Uh, I might have to get another ETB. Like, my wife's getting an ETB. Maybe I need to get another one. What do you think? Do I need to open up another ETB? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the future openings I do. Or the future decks I build with Pokemon 151. Because, man, are there some jank cards in here. Beautiful. Jank cards in here that I cannot wait to play with. Already testing some stuff out on PTCGL and hoping, hoping I can find the time to record so that tomorrow I can have a new deck for you. I also need to like practice and all that stuff and I'm picking my wife up so hopefully life returns to normal-ish soon um, because boy has things been crazy. It is 1am and I need to get to sleep. Uh, what, what else do I say? Um like subscribe join the discord we've got some awesome people in the discord already and you could be one of them uh we just talk about some jank cards uh talk about decks strategies how we would take down some of the best decks in the format and um what fun things we can do with these cards join the discord it's a lot of fun highly recommend it highly highly recommend it um but yeah uh, uh, that's it. I've got two more cards to sleeve, though. But I'm going to end it here with, of course, until next time, keep playing Jank.